hi guys welcome back to the channel today in today's video we're going to be using these fabrics here to recreate this beautiful skirt with a drape in front so if you're interested in seeing how to make this for yourself definitely keep on watching and let's get started with the video so i'm going to be cutting the front and the back part of this skirt together so the first thing i went ahead to do is to fold my fabric into two just like you see me doing like this and then the next thing i will fold it again so now we have it folded into four places so now i've turned the zipper area to face me so that it will be easier for me to take my measurements so i'm going to take a measurement from this center of the skirt here down to the end of the skirt and if it's not enough for your hip measurements you would have to look for another way to fold your fabric to make sure that whatever you have here from this point to the end is just enough for your hip measurements that's your hip measurement divided by four and you also make sure that is more than enough so that you have also room for stitching allowance so after i've gotten that i went ahead to just cut the top straight so that i'll start taking all my measurements from there so I'm going to leave about one and a half inch away from the top for my band and from that space there I'm going to measure down to the full length of the skirt. So my full length actually is 17 inches but I'm marking this out with 21 inches. So guys don't bother yourself so much about why I'm adding extra 4 inches to my actual skirt length just do it the same way add four inches to your actual skirt length because i'm going to be showing you guys how you will cut out your lining to be shorter so that your skirts will go up when we attach the lining it's actually very easy so cut out the full length you want your skirt to be just add an extra four inches so when you've done that the next thing we're going to do now is to mark our hip measurements still taking note of that one and a half inch we are leaving at the top for our band so i'm going down i went down to my hip point which is eight and a half inches that's from your waist down to the middle of your hip and i just made that line here after marking your hip line still taking note of that one and a half inch i'm going down to the measurement i want the skirt to be so initially i was working with 17 inches but i later decided to change my mind and then i used 19 inches so if you continue if you added that four inches to um your skirt measurement that means you just fold it up by four inches so right now i'm folding it up by two inches because i'm no longer working with 17 inches I hope you understand that now i'm working with 19 inches as the full length of the skirt so that's why i'm folding up two inches so if i was still working with 17 inches as the full length of the skirt i'll fold up four inches so now we're going to go ahead and start marking all our measurements on the skirt so from the middle of the front that's the fold in front here i marked my waist measurement divided by four which is six i marked it and then i added one inch which is what i just did now as that intake and then an extra one and a half inch as stitching allowance then down to this hip line my hip measurement divided by four is nine inches i marked it here and then i'll just take this as the stitching allowance because i don't have enough there then coming down to this the end of the skirt here i will just come in by one inch here so what i'm going to do is to connect these three lines to give me my skirt curve so now we'll come back to this waist area and i'm going to come down by one inch in front just like this and i'm just going to connect it to meet the waistline so i'm going to actually cut this off this is going to help the skirt sit properly in front so as you can see i also went ahead to cut the sides just like you see me doing like this now i'm going to go ahead and cut out my lining and whatever lining i'm cutting is going to end just at this spot here where my fold stopped so it's not going to get to the end of this fabric so i've gone ahead to cut out the lining pieces for both the front and the back so let me place the front on it for you guys to see so this is the one for the front can you see it ended just exactly where this fold stopped so the fold is going to be the uh, one that will complete the lining on the inside you guys are going to understand this better by the time we start stitching this together so for the front piece now we're going to go ahead and join the front piece first so we're going to turn the right sides facing you 
and you're going to place your lining piece like this ensure that the waist area of the lining aligns with each other so now we're going to bring the ends together it will look as if the lining is shorter at the top that is totally okay so you're just going to pin this end of the lining to the actual fabric just like you see me doing like this so first i'm going to go ahead and stitch this place down but then when i'm done stitching it down i'll fold it up like this can you see when you folded it up like this after doing the first stitch you just stitch this side and this side and you have this part done then for the back pieces as well that's the same thing you're going to do turn the right sides to face you um place it place the lining exactly make sure that the hip aligns make sure exactly that the hip aligns so that you don't have issues later just join it as well join the ends just like the way i did in front and when you're true you're going to go ahead and also just stitch down the ends then the side as well so guys i've gone ahead to do all the stitches around so i'm going to turn this over to the right side so that you guys will understand what i'm trying to explain after turning it over i went ahead to iron it out so guys can you see what the back looks like so this is how you do your skirt lining that it comes out really neatly and there is no way your um, lining piece is going to show in front if you use this method like this so i'm arranging all my pieces together and i'm going to be using my nipple to nipple measurements divided by two my nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches that divided by two is three inches so i'm going to take my measurement from this point here which is the front part i marked it that three and a half that's your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two that's what you normally use for your dart so after marking it i'm just using my scissors to make notches on both the front and the back pieces so i know exactly where to stitch on the sewing machine so i'm going to go over to the sewing machine and i'm going to fold the dart area like this for one part you can see the dart here i'm going to fold it in like this ensure that it's staying straight and that your skirt is straight at the end so when you're true and you ensure that your skirt is straight at the end i'm going to mark from the waist down to four inches here so i'm going to make a dart from here to the top of the skirt so that's what i'll do for all the other parts of the skirt so i'm done stitching all the dart area together as you can see at the top of the skirt here so now i'm just arranging the back pieces on the front piece just like you see me doing like this so the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is work on the zipper area to get my zipper allowance and my slits at the back so i've gone ahead to pin the two back pieces together like this and i'm placing the front piece on it just like you see me doing like this so um, wherever the front part of the skirt ends is where our zipper is going to start from is where our zipper allowance starts from so as you can see i'm just going to ensuring that i'm still taking note of that one and having stitching allowance at the top i marked eight stitches down and then i took five inches away from the end of the skirt so whatever is in the middle i just join it together here so this top area is going to be for the zip and then the end will be for the slits so i went ahead to stitch just that white part of the fabric that i just made so you see just this area here so this end here is for our slit and then this top is for our zipper allowance and you can see i've already gummed this side of the slit you can see the side is open so for this i actually used a hemming gum it's a very easy thing if you don't want to use a hemming gum you can totally do this with your hand just use your needle and try to hem it but for hemming gum you just cut a little piece of it put it in between just like you saw me doing and just press it with your iron and you see it has gummed that's basically all with using a hemming gun to just hold um, your darts together. So I'm just holding the zipper area right now with a pin for now. So um, that's basically all for this back piece for now. So we're going to turn. So now for the drape that is going to be in front of the skirt, I've gone ahead to cut out this piece. So I'm going to give you the measurements. So this length here is 17 inches. And then this other length here is 45 inches so that's what i'm going to be using for this particular piece so you can 
make your own more than 17 inches maybe 20 inches depending on how full you want your drapes to be also i've gone ahead to stitch down the sides of this piece that i'm going to be using for the draping now we're bringing in our front part of the skirt so i'm going to go ahead and do these drapes on it so the next thing you're going to do is to bring this piece that we just measured out this one here and you're going to pleat it on the side of the skirt so i'm just going to first just place it half an inch away from the top just like you see me doing like this and then the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and make folds towards the top now it depends on where you want your drapes to face if you want it facing the top fold it up just like you see me doing like this if you want it to face the down fold it down whatever you want to do here is totally up to you but i'm draping this up and again your drapes do not really have to be so big they can be smaller they can be bigger and for this you can actually decide to go ahead and make gathers you can make gathers on this fabric that i'm folding right now when you make gathers just um pleat put the gathers together and when you've gotten the desired length you just go ahead and place it here it's all the same thing this part of it is totally up to you however you want to do your drapes whether it's gather whether it's pleating it's totally up to you but make sure that whatever you choose when you're done just place it on one side of the skirt so when you have it on one side of the skirt like this next thing you're going to do is to pleat it up to the other side can you see so it's going to have that draping effect and the other side is just going to fall down so i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and stitch it down on this side first so guys i've secured my drapes to the side and as you can see i folded the drapes towards the middle of the front part of the skirt so that it doesn't get to the other end for now we don't need it to go get to the other end right now so i went ahead to place the back piece on it just like you see me doing like this and we're going to go ahead and now take all our measurements our waist measurements our hip measurement and every other measurement that needs to be taken here i'm going to mark every one of them and then i'll go ahead and stitch it down on the sewing machine ensuring that that drape is right in the middle that it doesn't get stitched to the sides of the skirt so after i was done stitching the skirt on the both sides can you see what i have so the draping is only on one side right now and then this is the back part of our skirt so this is the front so now we can bring this drape forward this is the front part and i'm going to now do the other ruching and i will try as much as possible to fold it towards the top as well just like i did on the other side so if you folded yours towards the down this area as well you fold it towards the down can you see what i have here so i folded it towards the top and then i'm going to make it shorter than the other side so i'm just going to use my pins now to secure this in place on the front part of this skirt alone just the front part alone so this is a little bit technical ensure that you're pinning it only to the front so when you're done you're going to go ahead and stitch this down on the sewing machine towards the front alone ensure that you don't join the front and the back pieces together when you're stitching this down so after i was done with the draping stitching it down on the sewing machine i went ahead to cut out this band that i've been talking about and i also went ahead to iron my gum stay to it so i'm going to go ahead and stitch this band now to the waist of my skirts so i'm going to be weaving the ends of this so i'm just going to stitch it directly and use my weaving machine to make the ends straight so this is what i have can you see how my band looks like after i was done stitching it down so now i'm going to go ahead and place the zipper i know i was supposed to use a black zipper for this but i didn't even have any other zip at the moment while i was making the skirt so i went ahead to add my zipper and this is the final look of our skirt so this is basically all for the making of the skirt you can see the front you can see our drape hair it's very beautiful one thing i noticed about the skirt is that um the fabric you use actually matters a lot and this particular fabric they actually bring out those drapes so well i think this particular style will come out more beautiful if you use two different fabrics together so the last part of this is for me to cut away from this drape here 
So I'm just arranging it in place and I just went ahead to just cut a little bit away from it because I felt the length was already okay. If you want to make yours shorter, it's totally fine. Cut just to you in this particular area. So I'm just going to go ahead now and hem this area down like this and that will basically be all for the skirt. So guys, that's basically all for the making of the skirt. This is the final look of what my skirt looks like. Um, I liked the way it came out, but I actually wish I used a different kind of fabric for this. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!